the one and only killer. <laughs> Bro, the way you turned and look at the camera was like perfect. <laughs> I'd actually really appreciate it if we can get another one of these made. Very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon. It is now uh, 1.40 in the afternoon on a, on a lovely, lovely Saturday. Finally, the sun is out. I am in the Ford Raptor. Haven't named it yet, you know? Haven't named this yet or the boat yet. Don't know what I'm going to name it yet. Well, I said yet. Yeah, I'm just going to call it yet. Anyway, we're heading back to Fun and Sun because they are about to prepare the ultimate beginner setup for my boat in terms of baits in terms of, uh, what is it? I don't know, I guess all the, all the tackle you can think of, they're preparing it for me. Uh, Rob called ahead, because I told him, like, yo, what do what you have in your boat? Like, I'm, obviously, I, I am smart enough to know what I need in there, but the stuff that, you know, a boat owner doesn't have in there that he should, so that's where we're going. We're gonna take care of that business right now. Um, Fun and Sun is literally close to 45 minutes to an hour away from my house, but I'm in the new car, so, I, I, I kind of enjoy it. It's not a big deal. So that's the plan for today. A lot of work to do, but it's got to get done. back at the studio an entire day has gone by as i explained earlier that it was going to be one of those things where I'm, I'm appearing in front of you one second and then the next i am back at the studio so we picked up all the baits and all the tackle from the uh, from the boat so this came with the boat as you guys remember and then it's all of this that i have to sort through obviously you know i was going to get these fire googan baits the cracking craw the bandito bug is what I hear is smashing them right now. That's the drag and drop. I got it all. Anyway, really quickly, and I want you guys to please understand this, because I and, I and I mean this when I'm telling you guys this. Hey, look, I thought I lost this. <laughs> I, I need you guys to understand this. This, although I will be making a small segment of the, maybe once a week, tops twice a week, there's gonna be some fishing content in the vlog, but everything, not, literally nothing changes. There's literally no difference between me going and showing you guys what I ate or where I went to go eat or me going to go fish. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I, like I know that most of you, and I mean like 99.99999% of you, like don't care what it is that, that I show you. Um, and then there's like that one, the point zero 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 one percent if I'm correct that are like, oh, this better not turn into a fish and fishing's boring, eh. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. Okay, but it is part of my life to fish. Therefore, I am going to record myself fishing. Because at the end of the day, this is something that I'm gonna look back to when I'm older, as I say old as fuck, when I'm older as fuck, in a couple of, uh, in a couple of decades. So, uh, pardon me and pardon my interruption as I show you my life. It's time to watch this shot. Ready? One, two. Oh. Voila! Just like that, they're all here, all ready to go into the tackle box here. And then once that's all said and done, then that's when they go into the boat. I have to prepare because on Wednesday, it's launch time. On Wednesday is when we launch the boat for the first time ever, give it the test run, give it, put it in the way. It's the first time the boat gets wet. It's gonna be, I cannot wait. I'm so psyched, look at this. Look at it, got everything, everything that you need. Got the Guggen baits, obviously this is mandatory. You have to have this. Okay, pair, where's my, where's my favorite? Where the bandito bug at? What's the natural bandito bug? Oh, you know what? I think they were sold out of the natural bandito bug as they would. There's a cracking crawl. Cracking crawls are dope. I really like the uh, the trench hogs. The trench hogs are amazing. They they slammed them in uh, 
If you don't understand what I'm saying, I, 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 please forgive me, but to all those fishermen who understand that, they slammed them in Mexico on the trench hog. It's amazing. All right, let's put this away. I have to, I have to literally unbox everything and then put them in there. Except for these, these stay in there, in their bags. Probably one of the things that I appreciate the most out of fishing is the fact that there are so many different possibilities and you never know whether it is it was 10% luck the one time that you caught it, or if it was 90% luck. You don't know if you were close, you don't know how far away you were. It is a literal, ever-changing game that happens every single time you cast. The wind may take it an inch too far, the wind may take it two feet too far, the, the wind may take it three feet exactly to where it needs to be in order for the fish to catch it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get to work on this, put everything aside because I need to I need to prepare, as I said. I know I said that shit twice already, but I wanted to sit here and, and show you the magnitude of everything that's on this table. All righty, this is day number two, Sunday, as you guys are seeing it. We're actually, I am actually on the way uh, to pick up Embos uh, at, at, the, at the new house. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is I am going to well, we are going to drive to the airport because we're picking up someone you will never expect to be picked up. I'm not even gonna tell you, I'm just gonna wait for you to see. In fact, look who it is. Him, the one and only killer. <laughs> the way you turned and look at the camera was like perfect. <laughs> got, the, got the man money be schlumped over here. I just told Killa to go say hi to the stream, um, just to go wave, and then we're gonna see the, the, the chat go wild right now. He's attacking B, let's go B with Primo, come yep. on. Yep. Come on. We're going B. Killa. He's attacking B, let's go B with uh, Primo. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you what the fuck? <laughs> sloss, sloss. All these slosses. All these slosses in the chat. You gonna stream from here? What are these missing, bro? It's like a racehorse. So last last week we were supposed to be doing the podcast with uh, with Killa. He, he uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. It, it, we pushed it to this one. That's why there wasn't an episode last week. But it is uh, there is one this week, which is super cool. Um, and right now we are about to go. Hopefully we can finish uh, soon enough. If we finish quick enough, we'll be able to go to uh, lunch slash dinner with my man Embos, Nick, and, um, and 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 Big Mike. Uh, flame sword Chavez. All right, bro. Let's hit it <laughs> So it's, have you have you ever been in a podcast before? No, you, you've know. been interviewed. I, actually, I did I did one with Nameless one of his podcasts. Oh cool All right, so you have so you understand the deal. I'm gonna talk to him. So. Hell yeah Awesome. I remember the one uh, the one interview you did with the sh with your shirt off on the balcony in uh, in London was Half a decade ago. But yeah. yeah, it was five years ago six maybe was it? Karma's the player. When he reaches a boiling point, you know, like something needs to change or something's wrong. Because when he speaks, that's usually when yeah. it hits the fan. Yeah, don't call me, Damon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting off. He just turned his stuff right <laughs> off. I'm like, oh man, where did he go? He's like, I'm walking two miles to the gym. I'm like, what? oh he, yeah, he was hitting it yeah, hard. He back walked then. five miles to the gym. Like we'd be worried about him. Like, Is this guy good? Walk, walking five miles to the gym. He's letting some serious anger out or something. <laughs> Nah, he had the fire that year. We all did. We finally, finally finished the uh, the podcast. It was a really, really good one. Uh, as you guys, if you guys haven't watched it, uh, go back a day or two in the channel, and you'll be able to check it out. But I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I know that I've been going on for a very, very long time. Killa, thank you for stopping by, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Um. Anyway, so as I was saying, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to not leave without leaving a like. Having said that, boys and girls, and with that said, I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully as usual and as per usual at the same damn time.